This video will cover the diagnostic criteria for cardiac valvular EDS, a subtype of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. CVEDS is incredibly rare with fewer than 1 in 1 million people having CVEDS. We are going to review the new 2017 diagnostic criteria for Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. For diagnosis, one requires positive major criteria of progressive cardiac valvular issues and family history. The patient also needs one other major criteria or at least two minor criteria. Finally, a patient also needs a positive genetic test. The major criteria of CVEDS include Severe progressive cardiac valvular problems with the aortic and or mitral valve. Joint hypermobility is another major criteria. Hypermobility is evaluated by the Beaton scale, which will be discussed in another video. It is essentially having pathogenic flexibility of the joints, allowing them to have a higher than normal range of motion. Further major criteria includes stretchy skin, atrophic scars, thin skin, and easy bruising. For diagnosis, patients require at least two of the minor criteria below. Inguinal hernia, excavatum pectus which is a concave chest, and joint dislocations. More minor criteria includes pes planus or flat feet, pes planovulgus which is flexible flat feet, and or hallux valgus commonly known as bunions. As for genetic criteria, inheritance is autosomal recessive, a child needs both genes to get CVEDS. There is a 25% chance of parsing on CVEDS. The only gene associated with CVEDS is COL1AM2. This gene encodes the type 1 collagen which is a fibro-forming collagen found in most connective tissues and is abundant in bone, cornea, dermis and tendon. Mutations are also associated with osteogenesis imperfecta, CEDS, osteoporosis, and atypical Marfan syndrome. This is the end of the diagnostic criteria for CVEDS. Please click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to learn more about Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and other rare conditions. You can also follow me on Instagram for more regular posts at chronic.care. Thanks for watching. Stay rare.